Okay, so uh, this is the bike, and I'm going to just walk you through the proof of concept that I've got working here. Here's the pedal a lot, excuse the clumsy wiring that needs cleaning up. It's uh, wired here through into this solo charge controller. Here's the input. Here's the dump load, which is connected to this fan, just in case we generate too much power. Here's the battery connection that provides power for the charge controller um, and for uh, the inverter. Here's the battery. This is a 12 amp hour battery. I'm going to have a 35 amp hour battery. Uh, this is the 400 watt inverter, which is coming off the same battery. You can see currently this is slowly discharging, 12.15 volts right now, and falling. Uh, the inverter is hooked up here with this cable goes into this UPS, which is a regulated sine wave UPS, and currently it's powering this Beagle board just for a test, um, but um, I will test other loads later on this evening. The important thing is, if I start pedaling, which I'm going to just do here, it's a little loud, so we're going to figure out the sound. When I start pedaling and turning that round you'll see that we generate some power and we start recording that on the graph here 1215 right now and actually it's pretty easy to sustain the, the speed but let's just see it go up there you go and it's going to hover a little bit there we are actually generating power we are inputting that in it is going through the inverter now just for kind of proof of concept let's get on the bike so it's hooked up on there, and this is going to be exciting getting on, but excuse the mess in my living room where I'm currently staging this. So let's switch this round, 1215, 12.16, 12.18. And we are charging, and we are currently inputting 115 volts regulated into the EPS. Currently inputting 116 volts. multiple fuses, so in theory, nothing too bad can happen. And the runtime on this UPS is pretty long anyway, so it's more about proof of concept, but you know, the whole thing kind of comes together. And uh, what I'm going to do is hook up some meters and we'll inline measure the current and uh, monitor the voltage coming off the bike as we generate. So there's the proof of concept. I think it's pretty cool.